Hey guys, today I want to show you how I get these uh, carbon rods to stir the gold or silver or whatever I'm smelting on. They come out of these 6 volt flashlight batteries. This is the first one I took apart. And as you can see it says alkaline battery. Well, you don't want the alkaline, because when you open it up, you get four of these, but you get four of these on all of them, but when the alkaline, you open these up, you get four of these, and you dig into it, and this is what you find, and there is a, kind of like a cloth center that is coated in something. But there's no, uh, well, there's no carbon rod in it. But then, found got another one. This one doesn't say anything. It just says heavy duty. Uh, the rail back. And I was pretty much sure there wasn't going to be any carbon rods in this one. So, took the top off of it, and again, there's four of these, and you take that. These things are greasy, they got crap on them, don't touch anything or use rubber gloves. The way I do it, the paper towel, it's probably not the smartest thing in the world. Uh, cut a few snips along the side, bend it down a little, yeah, let me bend it down a little more, yeah, well, these things kind of disintegrate on the sides when you pull on them, so kind of be careful about that, they take the whole top off of it, when you get underneath this little plastic top and you can pull that off and then the way I get these out is you, I've seen people on uh, YouTube just pull them straight out it seems more likely to me that you're going to have an easier time getting them out if you twist them first and then pull up slightly And there's your rod. There's four of these in each one. You can stir the gold or silver up and the gold and silver won't, won't stick to them. Of course you're going to have to clean these up with something. Uh, I'm going to try WD-40 and then uh, clean them up with regular soap and water. To get the oily whatever substance that is off of them. This is what's left. Now there are some of these that you see on uh, YouTube that talk about a free way to uh, get D cell and AAA and AA batteries that these things are full of, of those. Well, knowing corporations and big business and bottom lines, if they've got a bunch of outdated D cells laying around, they go ahead and put them in here, they come up with the same voltage, only down about that far, and they're four D cells, you come up with six volts, and you put a new date on the outside and you sell them. And you may not get them all the time in one particular brand. You may have, they might have 20,000 batteries they need to get rid of. They do that, and then they start putting these in there again. Oh, by the way, that's what happens when you uh, run a brand new battery completely down over a period of about 30 hours. The sides kind of disintegrate. And well, I hope that helps out. Uh, you, sometimes you get these batteries for nothing. I bought this for, what was it, a dollar. It was in a flashlight at a yard sale. 
I didn't even look at the battery. And uh, it'll help out financially and it'll help you stir your stuff up. And if you would, subscribe, like the video, make a few comments if you would. If you got any ideas, give me a give me a holler. Okay, well I'll talk to you next time.